welcome back. It's Crystal and Jen here, and today we're gonna to be making not just one, not just two, but three different recipes. Go ahead and take it over. What recipes are we this doing? This is gonna be a creamy mashed garlic and butter cauliflower, which is like a substitute for mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. um, easy Brussels sprouts with bacon, mm -hmm. which are one of my favorites, and cheesecake shooters. All or right. dessert. Ooh, mm -hmm. Got some dessert going on. So, yeah, so, um, you know, we, we're going off our newsletter that we always, you know, that we always do. And um, so I hope everyone received that because those recipes are on the back of that letter. All right. Um, yeah, so some carb-heavy foods such as mashed potatoes and, and rolls tend to be part of our holiday uh, celebrations. And these foods are typically packed with sugar and sodium. Um, but there are plenty of dishes brimming with seasonal flavors that the whole family can enjoy. And so really we picked some of those and we hope you like them. So we're gonna get started. Let's get started. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna, on the directions, gonna do it a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cauliflower in the microwave and anyone can do that. So um, that's what I'm gonna prepare right now. And But you can also do the boiling for 15 to 18 minutes as well. So I'm gonna start on that. We went ahead and got the chopped cauliflower, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that and put that in here. If you have cauliflower that's not chopped, just chop it up, because we're gonna mix it up after anyway, so we're just gonna cook it. So either way, whatever one you bought, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in the, in the um, dish and cook that in the microwave. All right, we're gonna do two cups of the chicken broth, vegetable broth, whatever broth you want to use. All right. And Crystal went ahead and got a nice uh, organic um, vegetable broth for us, low sodium. Okay, the recipe calls for um, four to six cloves of garlic, and then half of that's gonna go in this at this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do do like four cloves, and um, because I really like garlic and I think it'll taste good. And so we're just gonna chop that up, kind of mince it up, and we'll put it in the, and let that cook with the cauliflower. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and we'll put that in our cauliflower and it calls for a pinch of salt and pepper as well. So we have, we use the Himalayan salt and put a little bit of that and some pepper. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the microwave and uh, soften the cauliflower up that way. So Crystal and I forgot to mention that we are actually working at home right now um, due to COVID. And um, so, yeah, so today we're cooking in my kitchen, actually. And uh, I'm glad that everyone's here and, um, and Crystal too, because I haven't seen her for about a week or so. So it's nice to be together again. And we're looking forward to getting back to work and, and working back in the clinic. So, all right, so we're gonna pop this in the microwave. And cook down that. And so here we have, um, I think, a fresh vegetable. Uh, let's see, a select food, and we have a fresh vegetable. And I can just pop it on there. So if you guys have that at home, if not, put it on for I don't know. I say five minutes, maybe, um, should be fine. And just um, you want the cauliflower to be soft. Yeah. All right. The cauliflower is done. Again, we did that in the microwave, probably about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so just test it with your fork. Just needs to be soft. We're gonna throw it into the, we're gonna strain it first and then we're gonna throw it into the uh, food processor or the blender. If you have a mixer, you could mix it as well. Mix it up like you would a mashed potato. All right. Again, it calls 
for butter or olive oil. I'm going to choose olive oil, um, but um, you know, hey, whatever you want to use, um, go ahead. So we're going to do two tablespoons. We're going to add a little bit of water to it. Just add a little bit at a time until it starts to be able to hear it. All right, well, I think this turned out really good. It was so simple. You saw what we just did. Um, now we're going to take this out because we want to put it in our bowl and make it look nice. Great garnish we're going to put a little bit of butter on the top of it this yummy what a crystal buy us she bought us some earth balanced organic whipped butter um she always buys such good stuff and then we have a little bit of parsley and so we want to garnish it with that so we can make it look pretty um as we stick it on the table for everyone to it have a bite of right so good look so chris is going to show it to you mm. and then we're going to serve it to crystal because she's our taste our taster, right? The sampler. All right. All right, Crystal. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing, yeah. You can definitely smell the garlic. Yeah, it looks just like mashed potatoes. It does. Mm. You like it? So good. All right. Oh, that's fresh. <laughs> All right, well, good luck with that recipe. And um, we're going to clean up a little bit here and then get ready for Crystal. Our number, number two. two. Yeah, number two. Crystal's going to do the easy... Brussels sprouts with bacon. All right, be right back. Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna start our second recipe, which is gonna be the easy Brussels sprouts with bacon. I'm gonna be cutting up the Brussels sprouts here. Um, we're gonna add some garlic, even though it doesn't call for garlic. We love garlic, so we're gonna add some garlic in there. And then Jen's gonna be cutting up the bacon. And um, she's gonna be cutting up, it's gonna be one and a half pounds of bacon, and she's gonna cut those up into small pieces. And then I'm gonna be cutting up about two dozen Brussels sprouts. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put them on the stove. So just um, stay tuned. And then when you cut the Brussels sprouts, go ahead and cut the ends off and then cut them in half. So your halves look like that. Okay, so now that Jenna has all the bacon cut up, and she cut them up in about probably like four pieces, um, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the skillet and fry them up. So just like that. Okay, so you're gonna add it to your pan and then you're gonna cook it until it's fully cooked, so about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove it and we'll add our Brussels sprouts, we'll add our um, garlic first with some oil and then we'll put our Brussels sprouts on top of that already so it's nice and toasted crunchy so we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the pan and place it on a plate with some paper we're gonna set this aside and add our garlic and then we're gonna go ahead and add our Brussels sprouts on top all right so now we got our garlic all diced up and in a pretty little pan here so we're gonna go ahead and add that to your bowl And then you wanna spread that out because we're gonna add the Brussels sprouts right on top of that. So if you're gonna do the garlic, um, you wanna spread that out evenly in the pan, kind of like how you see here. So it's a little bit all over the pan. Um, and then we'll be adding the Brussels sprouts here shortly. So you wanna turn on your um, oven and kind of um, hear that sizzling first. Go ahead and come close, Jen. And then that's when you would add your Brussels sprouts in. And what you would want to do is grab the end of your Brussels sprouts and kind of just put them in there. Five minutes. 
five minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off your stove and then um, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our bowl. And Jen's gonna go ahead and sample some for us. Okay, so Crystal's letting me do the tasting on this one. And I think it's because this is actually my all time favorite. And so let's see how, let's see how she did. Mmm. Delish. Okay, so in the uh, cheesecake shooters here, we our ingredients wise, we have 16 ounces of cream cheese, three quarter cup unsweetened vanilla, almond or coconut milk, and we're gonna go ahead and use the vanilla? Almond. The almond milk. And then eight drops of stevia and two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of lemon juice, sugar-free caramel sauce, and then you're, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that Himalayan salt on it um, that we use in most of our recipes. So, all right, we're gonna get started. Really easy recipe. Everything kind of goes in together. You whip it up. So I'm gonna read it to her and she's gonna, she's gonna work it. So we wanna go ahead and add the cream cheese, which was 16 ounces of cream wow. cheese. So we have our big bowl, our so, big mixing bowl. So I just got the 16 ounce of cream cheese. So we're just gonna mix everything that's in here in the big bowl. Crystal, can you use, this isn't whipped, but can you use whipped? Did it, did it say anything about the recipe? Yeah, no, you can use either whipped or you can use regular. I got regular because I couldn't find whipped, but you could use either or. Um, whipped, I would imagine to be easier because you're eventually gonna whip, whip it all together anyway. Okay. So there you go. So, okay, we got the cream cheese in. All right, and then we're gonna go to the almond milk. So we have three quarter, cups unsweetened um, almond milk and she got the vanilla right is that vanilla yes, almond vanilla. milk okay vanilla and almond milk. it is the unsweetened one so there's regular um almond milk that's not unsweetened and that one's like 90 calories this one's only 30 calories so that's the difference um so jen already got it measured out for me so i'll add it in there okay. all right and then the stevia we're gonna do <laughs> all right Okay. All right, Crystal's baking it up here. All right, um, then we're gonna do two uh, teaspoons of vanilla. These are table, these are, where's the teaspoons? Right here. TSP. TSP. I, I guess we'll just use it on here. And then we got the vanilla. So we're gonna do so, two? Yeah, two, two. Two teaspoons of vanilla, and then now we're gonna do one teaspoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice. I just love working with Crystal. I love working with Jen. She's a great, she has a great spirit, and um, she's just very fun. She's a fun person to be around, Thanks, and Jen. she brings out the best in me, so oh. I appreciate that. And I Thanks, appreciate Jen. that you're here today cooking with us yeah. for, all our, for all our peeps out there that we miss so much. And I'm, I'm gonna like, it. you wanna do that? Here's a mixer for you. Oh, you want me to do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Jen's got it like perfect consistency. So if you wanna kind of show them, put it up to the camera there. So it's like nice and fluffy, um, just how they wanted it. And then we're gonna add this into a piping bag. And if you don't have a piping bag, like me, I forgot to grab one, you can always use a Ziploc bag, put it in a um, cup, and then kind of put it on the side and then add that into that. And then you're gonna cut that um, Ziploc bag and it's kind of like a piping bag, same exact thing. Okay, so now that Jen's got it in our little makeshift pipe bag, you wanna go ahead and close that off and kind of bundle it up like that push it down, and then that's when we're gonna add this to our little shooters. You got that, you got it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in, and then we're gonna add our caramel in between, or I got also um, sugar-free chocolate too, so you can use either sugar-free chocolate or you can use a caramel. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. These are only like seven carbs too. So, you know, we're making this treat, it's Christmas, and we were just trying to find some things, you know, that would be, um, you know, good for, good for us with not too much sugar. Um, and this looks amazing, and it's only in this little shot glass. So it's, it's not a big, do another one, and we're gonna do it with some sugar-free chocolate that we got. Just go a little bit different. 
Look at Crystal. She's like a little baker I with know. her little bag. I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, with some chocolate. Oh, this looks delicious. This looks good. Oh my God. We're also going to add our Himalayan salt on top if you want. Now that we're done, and that probably took us maybe 10 minutes to do that. It was super quick and easy. Um, And you got a nice little dessert out of it. So me and Jen are both going to sample it. I'm going to try the chocolate one and you're trying the caramel, right? Yep. Mm. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Holy thumbs yeah. up. I'm giving it two thumbs up. You know, a dessert can, you know, you can, it can be 45, 50 grams just for a piece of cake or something like that. Um, but these, you know, and it's actually yeah. really rich tasting. Yeah. So, I'm um, pretty, this would probably fill me up. Honestly. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's a perfect size. Cheers. Cheers. We hope you like it. And, um, we, uh, we wish you happy holidays. And a Merry Christmas. And for hopefully sure. we'll see you guys again next year, right? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And um, make sure you uh, check out our YouTube uh, channel and get our recipes off of there. And uh, like us. Yes, right? like, like, comment, and, and subscribe. Yeah, she's got that one down. Yes, so guys. So we that are, way you guys can see our upcoming videos. Yes. Yeah. We're getting a lot. We're getting a lot of people looking mm -hmm. at our stuff, and we really appreciate it. Yeah. So um, again, happy holidays, and um, we'll see you soon. Stay Bye, safe. Guys. Bye.